Hello Disney friends, my name is Haley. I hope that you're having a great day. I just got back from the Disneyland Resort last night and while I'm sad to have left, I'm excited to be home, look through all the memories, look through all the items and share this haul with you. I'm gonna go park by park and try to share prices and where I got each of these items. We're gonna jump right into it and I'm gonna share my freebies. I use these for display and I'm so excited to have now picked up the Disney 100 Years of Wonder Coca-Cola like cups. These are so much fun to add in the display, add a little bit of tiering or even stack figures on top of to match the color scheme. So I'm excited to pick up some of the Disney 100 cups and little coffee cups too. I just ask cast members whenever I'm up at like a mobile order line, just like, hey, can I grab an extra cup? And there's no issue and they just hand it to me. So that was really fun and easy great little freebie if you're into displaying or collecting things like that because i know many many years from now i'll look back and say this was the design from the hundred years of wonder so i know in the future it'll be even more cool to look back at items like that in addition to that one i kind of did the same thing with this this is one of the hundredth anniversary plates which again will be fun to use for display additionally i also collect the maps i love seeing all the different little covers to them now they did have the main maps this is the magic happens parade for disneyland and they also had the standard map with the castle on it but this was the map design for all the different languages so i thought it was interesting how there was like the english like standard guide map and then there was also the one for the different languages and they had different covers on them so i was sure to pick up one of each of those in addition to ones for Disney California Adventure. So it's another great fee freebie to remember your trip. I know I saw someone not that long ago, like they'll take the map and they'll write like little notes and things like favorite ride and they'll circle it and stuff. And this is fun to then slip into scrapbook after or like a little folder and look back at it again one day, see how the parks changed, see what your favorite show or ride was at that time. Of course, just like the Walt Disney World Resort, you also can pick up free buttons so on this trip we were also kind of celebrating my 21st birthday as well as my dcp reunion and we just put a little date on the back and then because i'll be graduating college here in a few years i also picked up the just graduated button just in case i don't make it back to disneyland before then that i have this now too those are also free at the u.s parks is these buttons and there's also like first visit buttons and there's a bunch of buttons you can get for anniversaries so if you're celebrating anything at the u.s parks ask a cast member for these buttons because they're a great thing to then have and remember the trip afterwards and then lastly i'm still counting this as a freebie although technically this was a part of our ticket and hotel package we stayed at a good neighbor hotel and when you do that and book it through disney you also get a free lanyard and pin upon your arrival you get to pick it up at one of the park locations listed in like this email that they send you so here's a look at the lanyard and pin that I got, which is for the 100 Years of Wonder. It's the little 100 with the Mickey and Minnie there inside of it. I believe it just says Disney. It doesn't mention Disneyland on it, but I know that Disney World doesn't do this. So this was a great little pickup. It also has a little ID badge and then it comes with a lanyard to kind of encourage you to trade some pins and collect some memories along the way. This one does say Disneyland and Disney 100 and it's like an ombre blue to gray which is kind of interesting. I'm surprised it's not like the purple to gray because that's the color scheme, but it's still super pretty and I'm excited to use that lanyard here real soon. Now moving on to Disneyland Park. I'm very excited to share items that I was able to pick up at Club 33. If you're unfamiliar, Club 33 is an exclusive dining club experience that you need to be a member to get in or members can invite you to go inside and experience it. So I had the wonderful opportunity of getting to go inside of Club 33 this trip and experience the food, the dining, the beautiful decor, and of course, of course, the merchandise. I'll have linked down below all of my Disneyland Resort videos, but also the one for Club 33 if you want to hear more about my experience. But this was amazing and I was definitely ready to spend some money at Club 33 on this very, very exclusive merchandise you can only get at club 33 so this is one of the bags that i was able to get um upon my purchase it's so nice like canvasy not necessarily reusable but just a very very nice like gift bag in addition they were so so kind to also put in some extra tissue paper with the logo on it for me so i could like keep it the cast members were so so incredibly nice and they were excited to see how excited I was to be at Club 33. So they were very generous to give me a few different bags and extra tissue paper and a bunch of Club 33 stickers to put 
just to have just for like little freebies from there so i got lots of those things because it was such a special occasion in addition they also had the little club 33 like little towels that we also grabbed from there as well that were like freebies technically and then we were celebrating my birthday there so they were so nice to give me this little birthday card here's a look at the outside of it. it's beautiful beautiful print and then inside all the people that work at club 33 signed it so that's incredible and also the cast members that we were talking to that gave us the stickers and the tissue paper and all that stuff she was also super kind to get us a first visit button like to club 33 and she also put one of the club 33 stickers there on the back so I'm definitely gonna write club 33 here on the front because that's just a cool thing to have oh and she also gave us one of the pens from there as well she it was really funny we were checking out with our merchandise and we were talking to her and i was just saying how excited i was to be there and she's like here you want some extra bags or tissue paper or stickers and here's a pen and just handed us all this stuff so that was pretty cool now on to some headwear i also picked up the ears from club 33 these were $40 and they contain lots of little details that you would see inside of Club 33. Like there's the door, the piano, of course the logo, all that good stuff, the windows, and this beautiful bow that has the logo on it in addition to the embroidered writing there on the back. This is so fancy. I love this print. I wish there was more stuff with this print on it uh, because it really captures the experience. Of course, I also had to pick up the Club 33 hat. I love wearing hats. And this one also has that same design to it in addition to the big 3D Club 33 on it and the little like writing there on the side too. And this was $30. The Spirit jersey I got from this trip was also from Club 33, it's the same print there as the hat. Sorry, this lighting is absolutely insane. But you can see the little emblem there on the front and then the cursive writing on the back. And this was, I believe like the, doesn't have the price in it, but I believe it was like the $90 for the spirit jerseys now. But it was definitely worth it from Club 33. I purchased the Emerald Anniversary pin. This is the plate little like tile look design whatever you want to say and it comes in this beautiful box this was 33 dollars which is funny and the last item from club 33 came in this beautiful box this is actually the ornament i purchased to remember this trip of course what, what better way than to remember club 33 this is a look at i'm not gonna take it out of the I'm not going to take this out of the packaging, but I will kind of show you through it. This ornament is of the balcony with the little 33 logo, and it also has the dining area. This is basically how and where we sat uh, in the restaurant, so that's so cool. It's incredibly, incredibly detailed. It looks like a little perfect diorama of the uh, experience, like the whole thing, down to like the print on the chair cushions to the little emblems even on the plates on this table it's wild and i'm excited to display this all year round continuing then throughout disneyland park i was so excited to check out their refurbished toontown it looked great it was so much fun runway railway was also amazing i love their queue and featured in their queue is actually this popcorn box which you can now buy as an actual popcorn bucket so this is the el capitoon the theater hot and fresh yummy popcorn box I love a little design, I love a little popcorn friend. This just describes my love of popcorn. Now the cast member checking us out said, if it tastes a little weird, read the ingredients and see why. So the ingredient section says uh, it contains popcorn and some other stuff, probably some salt in there. So not sure what the other stuff is, but that was pretty funny. And I just love the little design of it. It's just a hard popcorn box that they filled up. It looks so cutie and of course it has a little carrying strap like all of their merch is little carrying straps as you'll see here in a second so we love that i think it's such a cool little detail also over in toontown i picked up the mickey and minnie or mickey mouse short perfect picnic as featured in the runway railway attraction not sure if hollywood studios has gotten the blanket yet but it was available at the food location and you get this the perfect picnic blanket and it has Minnie and Mickey dining there on the picnic blanket Oop, with little ants and stuff walking on it. It's so cute. So I decided to pick this up. This was $14 and it has like a rough 
um, material too, so it's really easy like to wipe down and everything after you use it outside. I saw a bunch of people in Toontown actually using it like in the park or for parades and stuff, so I think that's a great pickup for that. The next item, I need to figure out where the straw went. I just saw it, but for now, um, I did get this little icy cup. This is of Donald. They have three different types or designs. I picked up the Donald one because I thought it was pretty fun. He's diving into the icy or the drink that you put in this cup and it has the little uh, straw hole there at the top. It looks like an inner tube. Again, here's another little strap to Disney Parks and just has all these cutie little coins and characters on it. And then there's like the Donald figure too, which it's so detailed. I don't recall how much this was, but you did get the drink with it. And I asked them to put the drink outside of the cup. So I was actually able to get like a normal size like drink glass because I don't know how much would have fit in here. So if you go to buy this, maybe do that. And then also you don't have to then rinse this out later. Like it's already clean and ready to go. I guess one other thing I got in Toontown was the shoulder pals. This is Chuby as featured in the Runaway Railway attraction. This was $24, which did kind of surprise me, but I had not seen this yet at Walt Disney World, little Chuby shoulder pal. So I'm excited to have Chuby in my collection. He's a cute little plush size too. Moving on at the Golden Horseshoe, I picked up, I'll just take this off. I picked up this um, very nice insulated thermal tumbler. I forget how they phrased it, uh, but it's just a metal like coffee to go cup however you'd like to say that it's a little mickey head on the top little clear lid and this is for disney 100 it features the carousel the castle tinkerbell of course the train carthay circle the sign from the studios as well as mickey and walt on it so it's hard not to pick this one up it's such a nice design and such a good quality cup this was 30 dollars, and i did pick it up with my meal uh there too and i love the design on the strap itself if it chooses to focus it just says tinkerbell the castle mickey waltz says disney parks and 100 years of wonder and this as you saw does come off of the cup so if you'd like to use it in the parks I saw people carrying this around and it just looks so easy and fun or you can take the strap off of it too which is also a great option. Right by the Golden Horseshoe and I do want to note that that tumbler was also available at a bunch of other locations at both parks not just specifically Golden Horseshoe. Uh, right next to that is their Westward Ho pin trading location which I did find two pins at. They had this figment pin which I'm not sure why it was there but I thought it was cute little dreamy figment and then there was also the Mickey's Toontown new design logo and I like to collect pins from the lands or from attractions is kind of the main collections that I do but then also like exclusive park characters like figment because there's not a lot of other merch for them otherwise this pin was 15 and this one I believe was 14 I'm not sure by the the coloring it doesn't say exactly you know how the the park pricing works Next up, I got these over by Haunted Mansion. I'm not recalling what the name of the stand was, but it was right outside of Haunted Mansion. Here's the name of it right here, if I can find it. This is a straw with the little Mickey Mouse 100 Years of Wonder clip. They have a lot of these over there. There's one with the Luxo lamp. There's one with Buzz for the 100 Years of Wonder. So these are proper little things to just add on to your drink. This was about $6 in addition to this glow cube I'm about to show you. It's this like silvery purple balloon with Mickey Mouse hanging on real tight as he's kind of flying away there in his 100th outfit. And then the glow cube is so fun. This is actually the star that's featured on the castle in addition to a lot of the merchandise. But it glows purple, I guess silver, you know, white. And then also flashes too. So I'm excited to put that in like some little fun drinks and it will, it will look cute in the display too. Another item exclusive to Disneyland as of the filming of this video is this train popcorn bucket. This was about $30 as well, but this is amazing. The strap says Disneyland Railroad on it and has the train and its little tracks all up the sides of it. This train does actually move and work if you like push it around. It also has a light up feature. I'm not sure if you can see it. There it goes. It's kind of, it's very, very bright. It's like a flashlight, to be honest. So this does light up. And the other effect that it does is if you remove the little top here. It's a little train whistle, which is so 
cool. I love it so much. But this is going to be such a great display piece because it's the train. Like, this is beautiful and I love it so much. And Mickey, of course, is hanging out the, the back here in the costume as he should. And here's how it actually functions with the popcorn bucket is they set the popcorn boxes here in the back and it stands up in there. Although this is not practical to use as a popcorn bucket whatsoever. It truly is a piece that you just kind of buy and display or maybe use at home because um, if you do have the popcorn box in here and then you go to put the lanyard on, it hangs upside down. So I saw lots of people carrying this upside down and then just holding their popcorn in their other hand. So this is definitely more of just a piece to buy for the, like, this is just a figure, basically. Because it doesn't really hold the popcorn unless maybe you're sitting down with it. But it's not much of a to-go popcorn bucket. <laughs> The last items I got from Disneyland itself was some of the 100 Years of Wonder coins. This one does feature Goofy and Pluto there on it. It says Disney 100 there on the back. So all of these coins I'm about to show you have this logo on the back side, but the differences are on the front and these are all of the kind of Mickey and Friends characters. So this one is Chip and Dale, Donald and Daisy, and Mickey and Minnie. And then these next ones I'm about to show you, these are the pressed pennies. Now, really great thing about these ones, it was $5 for eight of them, so I feel like that's a fairly good deal. And here on the back side, they all have this logo on it, but for the fronts, we have the castle, Minnie Mouse, Pluto, Chip and Dale, Donald, Goofy, Daisy, and Mickey. Additionally, they had one last Splash Mountain piece of merchandise you could pick up that said Disneyland on it, and this is the Critter Country Press Penny with Br'er Fox. Now, taking a break from the parks for a second, we did have an off day where we visited some of the Disney-specific resorts. We visited Paradise Pier, Grand Californian, and the Disneyland Hotel to see what merchandise they had, in addition to exploring downtown Disney. So here are the items I got from that day. We have the Disney 100 hat, which does indeed say Disneyland on the back of it. And this was also $30. I got this at World of Disney. Also at World of Disney, I got the Disneyland shirt to remember the trip. And I love how it said 1955 on it, happiest place on earth, and it showcases both parks as well. One of my favorite stores in downtown Disney and or Disney Springs is the Wonderground Gallery, and I picked up more postcards to put on my wall. I picked up Figment, and these are about $6 a piece. This one of the Jungle Cruise. Oh, that's upside down. <laughs> and this beautiful one of Fantasyland. In addition to postcards, we stopped at the Disneyland Hotel and I picked up this pack of 10 postcards featuring just classic things from Disneyland. I also picked up, this was so cutie. I love this design. This was at the Disneyland Hotel for $15, which I didn't think was too bad considering it's this like beautifully made, um, like I guess ceramic, like trinket dish tray. And it says Disneyland Hotel on it with the characters. It's so cute. I love this design so very much. So I'm definitely gonna prop this up somewhere for display. It's the happiest day on earth. It's so cute. Now moving on to pins that I picked up. I got this one over at World of Disney. It's the Disneyland Disney 100 pin. This next one is from Downtown Disney's Pin Traders. This is the Walk in Waltz Footsteps pin. This was $22, but it looks like the old film camera. It's limited edition of 1,500, and it features Walt there pointing at his plans for the parks. And you can also pull it I, this is kind of scary, but you can pull it up and turn it around to showcase their Mickey and the castle and it doesn't want to focus on it. And then you can then push it back into the camera. So a little bit dangerous, a little bit scary, but I think this is such a cool concept. Also at Pin Traders for $20, I picked up the 25 years of Astro Orbiter. I'm trying to collect pins for every single attraction, so I needed one for Astro Orbiter and I think this is so cute. Oh, I almost forgot from the Disneyland Hotel, I also picked up these earrings for $10. And lastly, over from Pin Traders in Downtown Disney, I got the Food Trucks Pack because I also collect Disney food pins because I think they're so cute. So here are the five pins that I got in this $40 pack. This is the Dumbo food truck selling little peanuts. I'm not sure. I think this one is selling sandwiches, but it's for Pinocchio. Here we have Chip selling little popcorn. I also like the little vehicles and things too. Here we have Baymax selling little mochi. 
and also Pluto selling some dog bones. Because we're all zoomed in here talking about pins, I thought I'd also show the pins that I traded for on my travels. I wasn't too impressed with the pin selections on the boards that I saw, but I did pick up this Stella Lu pin. This is from Hong Kong Disneyland. So this is another one towards a set that I'm currently working on. Also picked up this Duffy one. This I believe is also from Shanghai Disney. Another collection that I fairly have started. <laughs> This one I thought was pretty cool. Maybe I'll trade it again. I haven't decided yet, but it's a Disneyland D with the little tiki there from the tiki room. Also found this one. I feel like it's fairly new. It's like a retro throwback Minnie Mouse one. Another collection I'm super close to completing is the Ferris wheel one from Hong Kong Disneyland. So this is Woody, one of the ones that I needed. And then lastly, this is actually a Casper one for their little like program called Be Well. And I thought that was kind of cool just because it's a cast member pin. <laughs> and finally, moving on to our last park, Disney's California Adventure, or as many of us call it, DCA. I had a lot of fun looking at the merchandise there, although I tried to limit myself on the purchases because I know there's there's a lot to, <laughs> that, that was very, very cool. So starting off over in Avengers Campus at Pim's Test Kitchen, I got a fun little, like, lemonade drink. And to put on the drink, I got one of the Pim, like, discs. I believe they were calling them and this one actually lights up so it's like a little glow cube type deal but it sits on like the rim of the glass which was pretty fun i picked the red one and this was again about six dollars for any like these glow cube things at the avengers campus store i got this really awesome magnet for ten dollars i've been really into magnets recently because at college at school i like to cover the fridge with magnets so I tried to pick up some California magnets since I don't have any of those ones. I also got the Avengers Campus pin as I said I collect pins for lands and attractions. This one again was about $14. And lastly from Avengers Campus I was hoping to find a shirt but none of them really stood out or getting like a pin that said web slingers. I didn't see one either but this is the Avengers Campus patch set. This was $23. It has the, of course, A logo and then the Avengers Campus patch for my jacket, which is filling up very fast. Taylor and I also saw Rogers the Musical and we purchased the premium viewing package, which included this really fun lanyard with a little American flag strap to it that says Rogers the Musical. And it also came with this popcorn bucket. Purchased up on Buena Vista Street, I picked up my calendar for next year, which will be Disneyland themed and it has a bunch of the Disneyland photos there on it. This was $17 and then over at the Starbucks location I was so excited because our last day at DCA they restocked the new Starbucks cups because I'm not a huge Starbucks person but I love the cups and I use the cups every single day. So this is a gold cup that features lots of the popular attractions there from Guardians of the Galaxy to Cars Land to Pixar Pier and of course Mickey there at the bottom too so I love this design. Not far from Buena Vista Street, I also tried one of the mimosas, which I did not like at all. The flavor sounded like maybe I would have liked it, but at least it came with a souvenir glass. This is a very like hard plastic, you can hear it. Like pretty nice plastic. I believe the drink was close to like $19 if I remember correctly, but it does say Disney 100 there on the top with the little sparkles around it. And it also has the like silver like mist kind of fading up there on the glass so I don't know I feel like that's pretty good quality for that drink. <laughs> we also dined at Lamplight Lounge and another freebie that I got was the coasters. I collected all the coasters from Oga's Cantina so it was very very cool to get all the different designs from Lamplight. So here's just a look at all the different designs they have for their coasters so you can always ask your server if you can get a set of the coasters and I'm sure they'd be happy to get it for you. Also up on Buena Vista Street, I picked up one other set of the Disney 100 coins. So this set features Walt and the Mickey statue, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, Steamboat Willie, and Minnie Mouse. And I also picked up a Spider-Man pressed, I guess, quartered nickel uh, at the Avengers Campus store. Lastly, Cars Land at DCA is what we were most, most excited for. So I picked up the Mater popcorn bucket. This actually you could get in a few different ways. You get just the popcorn box. Again, with it, it kind of stands in here. You could also get it with like some fruit and stuff over at Fillmore's, but I got it with my chicken tenders at Flo's. You probably saw in the video, but this is like really well detailed, really cool. It also has the A113 license plate, which is awesome. And of course it does have the strap on it too. So you can open up the whole top of it. Ah, 
So I think had our food been in like one of the little like cardboard like dishes and they could have set it inside of here but they just kept it on the outside and it does say radiator springs with tomaters little logo there on the outside but so you can fit a lot a lot in there but for the popcorn i think they just gave you a box like set in like the back of it or something but there's options i love him and i'm so excited to put him up on display for ten dollars i also picked up the cars land magnet again to just keep working on the wall over here or for school or something like that. Lastly, I also, Taylor and I both got the used Cars Land sweatshirts. They restocked on the last day, so I was happy to get another piece, like a shirt from Disneyland and from DCA. So I'm excited about this sweatshirt. And it also has some of the different locations there featured on the back, which was pretty fun. And lastly, I saved one of my favorite, favorite items for last. This we actually purchased prior to going. Uh, this is a great, if you're looking for something to do or take to the parks, I would highly recommend doing this. This is definitely something I would love to do again, but we met so many characters at Disneyland Resort, like, the whole time, and we went to Hobby Lobby, or you can just go to a craft store, purchased a canvas bag and a fabric marker. It cost us under $10, and we got the characters to sign this tote bag, which is so much fun. I'm so excited to have this signed by so many characters. You can see a bunch of Marvel and Princess characters and friends here on this side. And then also on the other side we have all the Mickey and friends, more princesses, Peter Pan, all that good stuff. So this is such a good memory to see all the characters we got to see and just to remember the trip. And there's still room for some more for next time. I don't believe this is something you could do at Disney World and I say that only because there's not as many characters you can meet at each of the parks so you could not fill it up this much however you could just meet the few characters that do visit Disney World and get them to just sign it really big but I feel like this is more of a like like you can make it look like this if you visit Disneyland because there's more characters that visit Disneyland and live at Disneyland. So yeah, I am very, very excited about this bag and to use this bag. Let me know in the comments what item you saw was your favorite. I'm so, so happy that I was able to get amazing items from Club 33. So, so very grateful for that. And also that I was able to pick up all the popcorn buckets and things that I was hoping to get too. So I'm excited about this haul and excited to add these items into my display. Thank you so much for joining me on my Disneyland adventure. If you have any questions about my trip, be sure to also throw those in the comments or stay tuned to my next live stream and ask them there. Anyway, as always, remember to do what you love and it makes you happy and I'll see you all next time. Bye.